I'm so ready. Today is a very exciting day because we are taking our first, I never thought I'd say this, Emirates flight. What? So fancy. Today is also the day we are sadly leaving New Zealand from our 10 day road trip across the South Island, but we are going to Australia. We're sad to be leaving New Zealand. We weren't expecting to like it so much, and it's really opened our eyes to travel in places that we didn't really think we would like because they're too traveled. We thought too many people came here and it's going to be overcrowded, but we really got a unique experience in the forest, on the ocean seeing all the things that we didn't know existed. This country is more than spectacular, like definitely worth coming to. You should do it, put it on your bucket list, put it on your next travel plan. It is amazing. We are so happy we were able to do it. 10 days was a great amount of time in a car, kind of like not glamping, not camping, somewhere in the middle. You can check that video out of what we did on our road trip, but it is so special here. We love it so much, but we're sad to be leaving. But excited to be going to Australia. Right now we're in Geraldine, which is about two hours outside of Christchurch where we're taking our flight. But first, before we get to the airport, we have to return the rental car. It's about a mile away from the airport. So I'm gonna drop Zach off at the airport with all the bags, take the rental car back, deposit that, and then walk back because to the airport. Because we are budget travelers, <laughs> even though we're traveling on Emirates. So it's today's gonna be a fun bag day. <laughs> So much nature to see in New Zealand. When I came here, I really wanted to dislike it because everyone's been here and I feel like it's just overcrowded and there are gonna be way too many tourists, but that was not the case. We got due to the forest and no one was around us. We were able to explore a lot of the parts of New Zealand that I thought were gonna be crowded and it was all to ourselves. It was really nice and I'm not a New Zealand hater anymore. I'm proud to say that I have been turned around and I cannot wait to come back and hopefully bring some family back with me. Leah dropped me off, we put the bags on the cart. We have a cart right here. Huh? It's really nice because carts are free in Christchurch, so we've been enjoying this. She went to drop the car off and you're ready to walk a mile? I was ready to walk an entire mile out in the sunshine. I was actually kind of looking forward to it. And then I got there, dropped the car off, everything's fine. And they were like, oh, do you need a shuttle to the airport? I was like, oh. Why, yes I do, actually. We, so, here yeah. we are. <laughs> we were trying to get to a lounge when it opened early, but we are stuck in the regular part of the airport because Emirates isn't open yet. So, we're excited to check in, yep. but we haven't yet. We have about an hour wait, and that's fine. We're just gonna, you know, probably do some YouTube stuff. Whew, and as we pass by the Antarctica Museum, it's only fitting that we talk to you now. These are the escalators we went down when we first got to New Zealand in it's October. All coming back the to beginning us. of October. It's been <laughs> so long since we've been in this area. I remember coming down the steps and seeing the lady waiting for me with my name, and I was like, it's real, we're going to Antarctica. Right. Full circle. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, check-in was a breeze. We did online check-in and we waited in line for like two minutes and then Emirates got us through really quickly. And now we have our boarding passes. I think there's a double-decker plane that's leaving to Dubai. So there's a lot of people here for that. Mm -hmm. That's really exciting, we've never been on one of those. 
maybe one day we're gonna get our stuff, go up to the lounge. Hopefully we can get in. We haven't been in the lounge in so long. Oh my gosh, what is travel? <laughs> I'm so excited. We're getting out of here. I think we're gonna be on the double-decker plane. Apparently, that's what the security guard told Leah. I just can't believe that a three-hour yeah. flight would need two decks. That makes no sense. They probably have a lot of people going back and forth from Sydney to Christchurch. I don't know. I, don't I mean, know. he might be wrong, but he might be right. I don't know. This, is, this could be a brand new experience. I hope we're on the second. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. He said he was like, she just asked him that you like so that you could see the upstairs. I was like, no, really? He was like, yeah, just ask. We might. I don't know. Never, never, never <laughs> been on the second floor of an airplane before, so that would be a first. And the lounge here is amazing. It's amazing. I don't know why you're whispering. It's amazing. <laughs> We're having turmeric soup with scones and chili with like eight sauces on it. And these chips are gonna be so good. And freshies. I'm so excited. Made myself a little charcuterie board with salami, pastrami, two different cheeses, fig and pear chutney, and a caper berry. Oh my god, I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna eat it. Smells like just a caper. It is a huge caper. I love capers. I hate olives. They're so different to me. It's huge. It's like the size of my thumb. And we're checked in. The bird noises are helping us leave New Zealand. And we're getting on this double decker plane. It's happening. We're finally doing it. I don't know if we're on the second level yet. I'm so excited. Never flown in once before. This is going to be so much fun. This is the biggest screen I've ever seen in an airplane. And they have a touchpad. What is this? Touchpad one, they've always had buttons. We got all the plugs, American, European, New Zealand. And they have plane cameras. What is this? Wow. And I've definitely picked out my movie. This is happening. <gasps> I'm so ready. through border control and the flight was amazing. I am so confused how we got so much service for $180. That's all we paid on this flight. There's a whole dinner menu, moist towelettes, like so much, yeah, the bathroom really smelled like fresh wood. I was just like, what is going on? I feel like we cheated the system. Any airline that will serve me free wine is really high up there on the list. Not oh that gosh. I have a lot, I literally just have one, but like I sip on it because I'm just like, oh, so fancy. Oh, oh, it was so nice, yeah. <laughs> and the meals were amazing. My salmon was awesome. How was your chicken? It was delicious. Oh. Yeah, it came with rice and like some like charred greens. I don't know, it was really good. So good, the service was amazing. Everything has been awesome. We're gonna collect our bags and then play this crazy game called Catch Three Buses to Our Hotel. So what's the process? We have to catch three buses, or we take the train. We'll see. We we're gonna be the adventurers that you guys want us to be. It was raining, we we're gonna take three buses, and then we were like, we can splurge today. <laughs> It was really me saying, we should take the train, and Zach was like, no, you take the bus, save money, but it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to see what the train's like in Sydney. It's yeah. It's going to be nice. Public transportation. Okay, 
so we're literally walking through the first park that we got to and we hear all the screeching and we're like what is it why are the birds awake why are the birds awake it's like 10 p.m why are the birds out and then i'm like looking and i'm like why are they flying so weird and Leah's like are they my mice noises like what's going on and then i'm like those are bats that They're are big as birds huge. they are so we heard big. everything in australia was out to kill us we didn't believe every anyone until just now it. when the first species we see is a bat that has a four foot wingspan whoa crazy okay